morning, folks. Day four. Got one wall up. We are going to uh, attempt to put the other walls up today. Maybe get the roof started. Our kids come in last night. They camped out in a tent on an air mattress. We kind of took the the uh, day off yesterday, went to Sholo, got another load of the material. I got to start laying this out, but my wife's got to come up here and she's got to know where the uh, the windows and doors go in this thing. She's me. I'm all about functionality. She's about comfortability. So I've got to get that all laid out so I can start laying out the walls. I'm going to lay out. This 16 foot wall, we're going to stand it. Then we're going to do the 12 foot walls on each end. That's the plan today. And hopefully, maybe get the rafters kind of figured out on where we want the rafters and how we want the rafters, uh, how much of a peak we want on. So I'm going to get started. It's going to be a, another beautiful day here on the homestead. Yeah, I like it like that. Every once in a while, I like it like that. much easier getting these walls up with Isaac and Anna there and it seems like the wind always picks up when you're about to pick up a wall or put metal on a roof everybody out there that does construction can attest to that the wind can change direction in just a second and pull it right out of your hand The wind is flopping our house wrap. So what I'm doing here is I'm building out the window. We have been sheeting as you can see. We've been putting our uh, house wrap on and then sheeting. So we are, I'm laying out the window. I got to put the header in, I'm putting in the cripples, put the header in and then my top studs something I forgot to do over there that's what I'm doing now this is our back wall and then we have our front wall and it's got a whole lot going on it actually has it actually has two windows and a door so we want lots of natural light it's gonna look really nice when we say blood sweat and tears we mean blood sweat and tears I shoved that through there and it was going. Just put the screw in. So. Did you 
find that bandage? What else you got in there? Alcohol. Oh yeah, pour alcohol to it. I don't see the bandage there. It's a flat bandage. It's in that thing on the floorboard between oh. in that okay. console. There's some white napkins on, on the mom's on the mom's car on the seat. When you're used to working by yourself all the time, it's hard to take and work with other folks because your expectations are different. Me and Polly have worked together so much we kind of know each other and know what each other expects and know where each other's going to be. When you're trying to get something done, sometimes teaching and getting the job done sometimes not the easiest thing to do. And I have a bad habit of being in a hurry. It comes from all the years that we took and worked for ourselves, building barns, building fences, and old habits are hard to break. So I have to remember to just slow down, show people what I expect, and things go much easier. kids up this weekend to help us it was just awesome they jumped right in there and helped us get these walls stood up it's kind of surreal for me and Polly to be building something on our homestead after dreaming for so long and waiting for so long it's kind of one of those pinch me moments may not seem like much to some folks, but to us, it's the first big, big structure we put on our homestead, and we're just really enjoying the process. We built a lot of barns and a lot of fences and a lot of infrastructure on farms over the years, but we've never been able to build something for ourselves. We've moved around a lot, never had any time to put down any roots 
and we're just really excited about the opportunity to build our forever home and seeing this first step has really made it real to us. Here I am working on the rafters. This is later in the day. One of my first jobs in construction on a construction crew was marking and cutting rafters. I don't think they trusted me to do much else. They didn't know what I knew and what I didn't know. And the very first day I cut 54 rafters. They were a little bit more intricate than, than these. This is just a simple double angle rafter. Nothing too fancy about it. I've been really impressed with this little $29 Harbor Freight circular saw. You can't crowd it, and if you cut too complicated of an angle, it has a little bit of binding issues, but it's been a super little saw for the money. I would highly recommend if you're starting out to go and buy one. I've done every bit of the cutting on this project with this little saw, and I'm still on the first blade. All right, guys, that's day five in the books. We uh, we worked hard today, got the rest of the walls up, got the windows cut out, I'll show you that, and got the rafters uh, started. Let me take you over here and show you. So I got the rafters started, but we got this front on. I've still got to put some siding on the edges and along the top, but it is a uh, fairly decent sized little workshop. It's going to be a nice little, nice little place to kick back, relax, get out of the camper um, over the winter. Uh, we can heat it with wood, put our TV in here, and um, this will be our workshop. This is going to be Polly's beading uh, corner eventually. Um, I'll have my leather stuff over in here. We got some pretty good views. But there's the rafters. We got pressure blocking back here. Um, I don't think it's going to go anywhere on 16 inch centers. I think it's going to be fine. Um, this is just temporary right here, just so we can get it level. We couldn't have got it done without um, Ann and Isaac. They, they really jumped in there and helped us this weekend. Isaac helped me frame up his front. This front has got a lot of wood going on. Um, but nobody's going to kick that front door in. I'll tell you that much. It's built super nice. Got our headers built in place. So it's all centered. Going to have a really nice view out over this way of the sunset every evening. It's going to allow some heat in during the winter. So tomorrow, my agenda is to finish rafters and possibly sheet uh, this up here so that when I go to town on Tuesday we've got a lot to do on Tuesday you got to wash clothes and um, just the regular things that you have to do not you know that's the thing that life life still happens even though you're building a structure life still happens so we still got to do laundry we got to take off garbage go to town and get the metal I think I'll tar paper it and then um, Put the, put the metal on it on Wednesday, and then on Thursday we're leaving for Cochise County Tiny Shiny Home Workshop. So that'll over be, be over and done by the time you watch this. So, day five, 
I know I didn't do a lot of introduction this morning. We just kind of went right straight into it. But we appreciate each and every one of you stopping by, going with us on this journey. Um, we are close approaching a thousand subscribers. We're going to give away that Harbor Freight Toolkit when we do, and uh, it's 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 going to be fun. This is just the beginning, guys. This is just this is just one structure. This is just going to be like a workshop garage. So. Uh, this is by no means a house or a tiny home or anything like that. This is just a workshop. Uh, we needed a little bit more room for the winter, and this is going to give it to us. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you down the road.